Uh, a pollinator is an organism that takes the pollen from the anther, which is the male part of the flower, to the female part of the flower. As pollinators are responsible for about one-third of every bite that we take of our food, it relies on animal pollinators to make that food, basically. So we wouldn't have things like blueberries or oranges or uh, tomatoes or peppers or any of those good things without animal pollinators. We wouldn't even have chocolate if there weren't for the little midges that pollinate the cacao tree um, in the rainforest. Um, so we would be out of luck without those animal pollinators. And when I say pollinators, that actually includes a lot more animals than people know. I think when we say pollinators, people think automatically of honeybees, but there are bumblebees, there are little tiny bees that people don't even know they're bees. They're so little, they're like the size of an exclamation point in a book. Um, and little sweat bees, leaf cutter bees, digger bees. So these uh, types of bees, Around the world, there are like 40,000 species of bees worldwide. But uh, you know, when people see these little insects, they don't realize that they're bees, but they're doing very important work. And then, besides bees, we have um, moths, butterflies, beetles, flies. Flies like surfeit flies, which look a lot like bees. Um, they do that to trick predators into not trying to go after them. Uh, so even flies get in on the work of pollinating plants and, and helping us out. Um, so Pollinator Week seeks to recognize the contributions of all those pollinators around the world, but especially here in the United States where I think most of us have heard in the news how pollinator populations are declining, and that's due to a number of factors. So part of it is the use of pesticides really impacts pollinators because as people are spraying for bu bad bugs, um, the good bugs die from the same chemicals. Um, but there are other factors that impact pollinators as well. And some of that might be due to well, habitat loss. So the more development and things that happen um, takes away meadows and forests and things like that with the plants that the pollinators need. So one thing that people can do if they're interested in helping pollinators and being a pollinator protector is adding plants to their garden, that native plants, adding blooming plants that bloom in the spring, summer, fall, making sure that you have as much um, flowering plants in your garden as you can. And that really um, creates habitat for pollinators.